creative video web. Thank you for watching my last video and encouraging me to do a better videos in future. In this vlog, I like to present you some more features which are hidden in your WhatsApp. So just to take a look to know them. At first, if you want to cancel the text which you have typed in your text bar, so kindly follow this procedure. Uh, try to search a symbol or a character called negation and followed by the text. See here I want to take a text called WhatsApp and followed by the same symbol called negation. So here you can find the WhatsApp is completely cancelled. So by this procedure you can cancel the text which what and all you type with the text bar. So secondly, if you want to highlight the text or to keep it in the bold, the following procedure helps you. Uh, type it character or a symbol called star followed by the text called WhatsApp and end with the symbol, the same symbol, it's star. By this you can see the complete text which I typed in the text bar, it's bold up. And while coming to the third part, I just want to explain you how to change the font style of your text which you type with the text bar. So here, for example, I'm typing a text called WhatsApp with followed by the ca characters or in symbols called underscores. So here, underscore with followed by the text WhatsApp and ends with this same character called underscore. Here, you can find the complete text which I typed in the text bar, it changed or converted into an italic format star. Uh, now, fourth one. To know how many people in the group have seen your post. So kindly follow this procedure to check how many people are watching your post. Open your favorite group which your post is already posted. Try to click on the post for a long time time or for three seconds or four seconds after the selection of the post here you can find an information symbol try to click on that which provided in the taskbar and you can see here the blue ticks the blue ticks refers how many people are already seen the post and here the gray ticks refers the people yet to watch the post while coming to the fifth point, you can also have settings like privacy, last seen profiles, status, block contents. So I just want to explain you now regarding the privacy. Go to the settings and you can find a drop box called an account. Click on that and here you can find a total five types of settings. The first one it's called a privacy. Click on that. Here you can change everything. For example, last scene. In this, you can find everyone, my contacts, nobody. So, whatever you need, you can click on that and automatically the last scene change for then everyone. The same way, if I go for a profile photo, if you wish to show your photo to everyone, click on that and everyone, and the photo can seen by everyone. Or else, if you want to change only for my contact citizens, what are the contacts you have changed in? I mean saved in your WhatsApp, they can see this profile photo and it's changed to my contacts. And well, here the next one about. So about is the sense, uh, your status, your post, these all things can be visible by everyone. If you go for everyone, this can be seen by everyone. If you go for a my contact, this post can be seen by my contacts only. And while coming to other part, it's status. While coming to status. Uh, if you want to keep it as in a privacy mode, you can go for only share with some of the people or you can select the people, whatever you like. So here I'm going with some more. I'm selecting it and if within a tick mark, the status only showed to the three contacts which I have selected. And if you don't want to do that, go with the my contacts, except select those who all are not, you're not liking to show the status, click on that and go for the tick mark. Here you can find only other three contacts can't see the status remaining and all. So if you want change again, go for my contacts and click everybody in your contacts can see your status. 
by this you can change your settings in your whatsapp or the next one to check how many people have seen your whatsapp status so go into the status uh, and you can find a three dots on your my status I click on that here you can see uh, a eye symbol and here you can find a eye symbol click on that and you can see how many people are seeing your status so here, this is my status which I updated uh, one minute before if I click on that eye I can see see the first one three minutes ago and second one eight minutes ago and third one nine minutes ago by this you can know that how many people are watching your status and the time status and everything and we'll come into the last and final one it's how to use whatsapp on desktop first open your browser and then type or search in the google called whatsapp web and there you can open a whatsapp web within qr a setting called a three dot this is three dot try to click on that and you can find a whatsapp web by clicking on that you can find a camera or an qr code scanner which already activated by scanning the code which on the desktop you can use a whatsapp then finally you can use a whatsapp on your desktop piece thank you for watching this vlog